Today, the MQ-25 Stingray drone, originally conceived as an aerial refueler, is poised for a significant upgrade, potentially transforming into a formidable combat platform. Recently, at a defense industry conference, a model of the MQ-25 Stingray, armed with two LRASM missiles, was unveiled. This development could give the Stingray its sting, allowing it to engage targets with AI-powered anti-ship missiles at distances of up to 800 miles. Initially, when the U.S. Navy decided to develop its first operational carrier-based drone, it sparked controversy by choosing a refueling drone over a long-range strike platform. Many experts believe that a long-range strike drone would better complement the F-A-18 Super Hornet and F-35, especially given the threat posed by land-based missiles like China's DF-26 anti-ship ballistic missiles. However, there was a rationale behind the Navy's decision. Carriers have long relied on Super Hornet strike fighters with underwing refueling tanks to refuel other carrier-based aircraft. But using Super Hornets for refueling tasks meant they couldn't perform their primary air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. Additionally, these refueling sorties increased the maintenance and operating costs of the Super Hornet fleet. The addition of the MQ-25 Stingray as a dedicated refueling tanker changed this dynamic. Now Super Hornets are freed up to carry out their primary missions, while the MQ-25 can refuel any fixed-wing aircraft in the carrier's air wing. With a capacity to carry up to 16,000 pounds of fuel, the MQ-25 can significantly enhance the range and endurance of carrier-based aircraft. But there's more to this story. The MQ-25, ironically named as it was initially unarmed, is now stepping into its potential as a combat drone. Equipped with LRASM missiles, it can engage targets with precision significantly enhancing the combat capabilities of carrier strike groups. With each Nimitz and Ford-class carrier set to deploy four or five of these armed drones, the MQ-25 Stingray is poised to become a pivotal component of the carrier air wing, potentially shaping the future of naval warfare.